in this video, what I want to do is I want to determine the angle theta between these two vectors and both of these vectors are in 3D space. So since these vectors are in 3D space, th geometric methods are going to be really tough to figure out what this angle between these two vectors are. So we need to resort to the dot product. And to remind us what the dot product is the equations we have for the dot product. Let's write them out again. So if I have two vectors, one of my vectors is going to be AB, one of my vectors is going to be AD, and this sign right in the middle means the dot product. So this is going to be equal to AB in the magnitude of this times AD in the magnitude of this. So the magnitude of these two vectors multiplied together times the cosine of the angle between them. So this is ultimately what I need to solve for. The other form of the equation that I have is it starts the same way. So AB dotted with AD is equal to, now we're going to have to list all of the components. So ABX, ADX plus ABY, ADY plus ABZ, ADZ. And the last thing we can do is we can equate these two dot products together. So what I'll have is I'll have this side of the equation and it's going to equal the other side of the equation, uh, this part. And what this allows us to do is this allows us to look at these two vectors that we have and we can figure out the magnitude of these vectors, the different components, we can solve for what theta is. Now, how do we do this? Well, in 3D, what we can do is we can create two position vectors. If I create a position vector here and I create a position vector here, then I can figure out the component, the angle between those two position vectors. When I'm creating these position vectors, what I need to do is I need to list out the points of these uh, the points that I know. So I know where point A is, I know where point D is, and I know where point B is. So A is only along the y-axis and it's in the negative direction. Uh, I have labeled the X, Y, and Z that show the positive directions. And X is, uh, or point A is zero in the X, down 600 in the Y, and zero in the Z. So zero minus 600, zero. Now let's go to point B. Point B is along this X line. So it's 450 in the X, zero in the Y, and zero in the Z. Now D is, lies in that X, Z plane. So D is going to have, well, we go over minus 500 in the X. So minus 500 in the X. Then we go zero in the Y. We're not going up anywhere and we go 360 in the z direction. So these are our points. Now to find the vector that lies a lot along the point, remember we have to subtract the head from tail to get a position vector. And the head, if we do a, b first, the head is at point b, the tail is at point a. So this point, this vector a, b, is going to be equal to 450 minus zero, I. So 450 I, then we have zero minus a minus 600. So plus 600 J, then zero minus zero K. So plus zero K. And what these will be, this is my ABX, this is my ABY, and this is my ABZ. So these will go in these parts of the equation. Now let's do my, my uh, position vector AD. So if I have AD, this is going to be equal to, same thing, head minus tail. So the head is at D, the tail is at A. So I'm going to have minus 500 minus 0. So minus 500I, then 0 minus a minus 600. So plus... 600j and then minus or then uh, 360 minus zero so plus 360k and again that's what i get this is adx this is 
a dy, this is a dz. So again, I'll just plug them in over here when the time comes. Now, I know everything on this side now. I need to figure out what's on this side. To find out what's on this side, I need the magnitude of these two vectors. So to find the magnitude, what I have to do is if we look at AB, the magnitude of this vector AB is going to be equal to the square root of the sum of all its components squared. So 450 squared plus 600 squared. And then if we do this, of 750. So its magnitude is 750 millimeters. We can do the same with AD. We take the magnitude of AD, and this is going to be equal to the square root of minus 500 squared plus 600 squared plus 360 squared. And this gives me a magnitude of 860. So now I know everything on this side and I know everything except for what I'm solving for. And I know everything on this side. So now let's put this all together and solve for theta. I'll have 750 times 860 times the cosine of theta, which is equal to 450 times minus 500 plus 600 times 600 plus 0 times 360. So I'll have 645,000 is equal to minus 225,000 plus 360,000 plus zero. And uh, I need the cosine of theta. Now to solve for theta, I'm just gonna add those two numbers together. So, and I'm gonna divide by this 645,000. So cosine theta is going to be equal to 0 0.2093. And theta is going to be equal to the inverse cosine of this value, 0 0.2093. And we get this angle theta is equal to 77.9 degrees. So the angle between these two vectors is 77.9 degrees. Hopefully this video has shown you how you can take any two vectors in 3D and figure out the angle between them. If this video has been helpful to you, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking the video. It'll help this video reach more people, so hopefully it will be able to help them as well.